All right, so I am recording on my phone and my recorder, my camera. Actually, I gotta get this going too. My actual recorder. There we go, it's gone. It is 3.30 in the morning. And I was sleeping. I was sleeping very soundly. And I started hearing what sounded like footsteps going down the hallway away from the bedroom. Footsteps out here in the kitchen. And then it sounded like whenever I actually got out here. Now I came out here with my gun at first. Whenever I came out here, it sounded like there was stuff rustling around in the cat's room, which I thought was the cat. I go in there and there's there's nothing in there. There's the cat's not in there. Well, I get a little bit confused and I go and I walk back to my regular bedroom and the cat is literally laying back there sound asleep. Like Curled up in my fiance's arms, sound asleep. So, and the other two cats and the dog, the dog is back in the bedroom with us, and the other two cats are in their room sleeping. Which means, I have no idea what the fuck that, that, that was. Not a clue. So, I grabbed my camera. So, we're going to go in the, uh, in the mirror room, because that's where the noises were. We're going to find out what the fuck that was. I got too much shit in my hand. I'm trying to keep... As many lights off as I possibly can. Because, again, I want to know what the fuck that was. Like, here we go, I can see a little bit. The bathroom door right here. Um, it is never open that far. <clears throat> In fact, I always kind of shut it. A little bit like I keep it kind of cracked um, because again that's where the cat's litter box is and obviously for people who own a cat they know that the smell of a litter box you know and a small room can get kind of nasty so that is why I keep that door you know cracked so you, I can keep the smell down because, you know, uh, this is, it's kind of a storage room. We don't, you know, and on top of that, you don't want it to smell. And with that being said, I also keep the door behind me cracked because that goes to the bathroom or the, not the bathroom, the bedroom or the the place where you cook shit, kitchen, <laughs> goes into there. And obviously you don't want that smell going into the kitchen. So, oh, sorry guys, I had way too much crap in my hands for <clears throat> for, you know, trying to do shit properly and all that but we're good now we are good now I wonder if I should turn the in fact I'm gonna crack this door like it's supposed to be
crack this door like it's properly supposed to be. Okay, here. So, the light is not kind of shining in my eyes and stuff. Should I turn that IR light on? On my camera. I probably should. Just in case I decide to go completely dark. <coughs> Come on. Here we go. Okay. definitely believe a lot of that is dust. At least I hope it's a, I hope it is dust because there is a lot of shit there. Is Somebody here. If there is, I want you to make a noise. Say your name. Make a noise. Show yourself. Do something. Sorry guys, my throat is a little dry. I didn't get a drink before I came in here. Like a dumbass. I just wanted to restart this. Oops. There we go. Alright, you know what? Let me... Let me set this here for real quick. Again, because I'm thirsty.
Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, whenever my throat gets dry like that, it starts to hurt and all that shit. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to start doing, um, um, I finally seen people using that ghost tube on YouTube. Actually, I was watching... I want to say it was that Ghostbumps new video. And I believe the very first video on there was two <clears throat> two women from England or something like that or Britain somewhere. I can't remember where, but they were using it at a old castle and I still have it on my phone. I just never used I never use it because I didn't think it works. Well, there they were getting some shit. So, I'm going to try it. 